I'm Patrick, and I'm pleased to introduce you to our new pack for DaVinci Resolve, M-Title Restyle. M-Title Restyle is a versatile and impactful typography plugin now available for DaVinci Resolve. I'm in DaVinci Resolve 18.0.1 and we highly recommend you do switch to DaVinci Resolve 18 for better performance and for improvements that have been added when working with adjustment clips. To access all M-Title Restyle content, inside Resolve, open up the Effects tab and then open the Toolbox folder. M-Title Restyle content is split into various categories. You can find some in the Titles folder, including the add-ons elements, the descriptions, and typography presets but also you will get more content inside the effects folder, like the backgrounds and overlay effects. The reason backgrounds counts as effects is because many of these backgrounds also include effects that will be applied to the video clip underneath that background. To easily browse all of the content in one place, select the toolbox folder and in the search field, type M title restyle and voila, you have all 65 presets directly available in your effects tab. For this tutorial, I will focus on the last shot in my sequence, and we are going to include almost every type of effect available inside M-Title Restyle. First, I'm going to add an overlay effect. You can preview each effect by skimming the cursor over the preset. I would like to change the global look of the shot, so I will use the M-Title Restyle Color Looks preset. I'm going to drag and drop this effect right onto my clip inside the timeline. I could always apply this effect to an adjustment clip, which might actually be preferable if I wanted to use the in and out animations included in the effect. I'm fine without them in this case. To edit the effect, I will open the inspector and click on the effects tab. I'll turn off those in and out animations, and in the effects controls, I will be able to switch between a few different presets to get various looks. I'm going to choose the Fade preset. And of course, for each preset, you will be able to adjust various parameters to create a fully customized look. Next, I would like to transition this basic clip to an eye-catching shot. To do so, I will add some distortion with a second overlay effect, M-Title Restyle Refraction. This effect will add some nice organic distortion shapes over my shot. And of course, I can always adjust many different parameters inside the inspector to customize the effect including being able to offset the position of the video content and adjust controls on the speed and details of the organic shapes. Okay, let's add another element over our shot. I'm going to drop add-on 01 onto track 2. This preset will display an organic shape and it will match perfectly with our effect below. I want to move this graphic to the bottom left of the frame. I could do that inside the inspector, or I can move it directly inside the viewer by activating the fusion overlay option. Like this. Inside the elements controls, you will be able to adjust the color of the shape, the scale, you can add or remove some details, and you can speed up or slow down the motion of the shape. Next, I will add a description title to introduce the director. I will add the description number three over my add-on. And I will move that down just a little bit. Then, with the text controls, I can modify the two different text elements. To conclude this shot, I'm going to add the main title. M-Title Restyle provides 30 dynamic and impactful titles. I'm going to select Title Preset 12 and drag it over the other elements. Then I can edit the text and type in Fragile. I'll reduce the size of this just a little bit. And inside the effects controls, I can modify any of the other texture parameters as well. You will be able to offset the texture position, increase or decrease the displacement value. I think I'm going to move the text to the left just a little to avoid covering the head of this actress. On to the last details, I'm going to add a cross dissolve at the end of all of these elements. I'll simply right click and select the duration I need. Here I will select 12 frames. And since I selected multiple layers, it will apply the cross dissolve to all of those at once. You can also use the opacity controller directly inside the title element to create this fade manually. 
This was just a glimpse of what M-Title Restyle can offer to boost your projects. With 65 fully customizable presets, you will have infinite possibilities to add dynamism and style to your edits. For more information, please visit motionvfx.com. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on future packs just like this one. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.